Welcome back, folks. In the last episode, we were talking to some mysterious guy, and we're, we were encountering some problems with our social status. So let's continue to explore. That's an interesting sculpture, and by interesting, I mean ugly. If that's art, I must be missing something. It's probably modern. I bet this terminal doesn't work. Welcome to Link. Please insert your card. Let's do this. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Apparently our retina leaves to be desired. Okay. Steven Reich. Bellevue Gardens. Link status 5. We bought some fish recently. Apparently because Mr. Reich is a fish buff. And we paid um, for a Dangerous Bikes magazine subscription and for some motor services. Well, that guy seems to be very comfortable. Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, <laughs> and the Mystery Tour. What's the difference between Grand and Economy? The Economy Tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. <laughs> okay, so then what's the Mystery Tour? What's the Mystery Tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. Hmm. How do I know it's not a ripoff? That's the chance you have to take. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The mystery tour sounds. Fine. The mystery tour sounds fine. I'll reserve your ticket. Now tell me, where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere physically. <laughs> it's the latest in virtual reality. So it's a frog. Oh, not that old turkey. It's almost completely like the real thing. If you say so, but I'm not convinced. Okay, then I'll take the grand. I'll take the grand tour. Hmm, just one tiny point. You'll need a decent wardrobe. Oh. What's wrong with these clothes? They're fine, for a sheep farm. <laughs> but what you need is something fashionable. Look who's talking. The Grand Tour is classy, see? You'll be mixing with people of elegance and money. All right, forget the Grand Tour. Okay, so what about the economy Book tour? me on the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. Hmm. That's... Start with some sensible questions, like if he knows a guy called Overman. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. Hmm. Is there anything you'd swap for. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. Go on. Give me a ticket. I told you, there's a waiting list. It doesn't okay. matter. 
It's not very helpful. Let's check out their room. Let's check these kitchen halls. They're all completely empty. Except maybe. It's a wooden case. Okay, they're all empty, apparently. And we can spin the globe. She does nothing. But there's I think the exact 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 same picture as in the right apartment. It's a painting of how things used to look. Okay, maybe Joey can help us. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? That's not a good idea. Why not? Because the system has a virus. How can you tell? Just believe me, I know these things. Maybe we want to inform Mr. Man here about his system having a, vi a virus. Did you know your computer has a virus? It can't happen! My robot assures me it does. Get a life! That's just a welder on wheels! Show him, Joey. Analyze his brain patterns. <laughs> you sure? It's like a cesspit in there. He's obsessed with archaic images of masculinity. And his failure to live up to them. He sees the laws banning motorbikes as repressive. A form of institutionalized castration. All right, knock it off. <laughs> his ideal woman would be a combination of his mother and his first moped. <laughs> you leave my moped out of uh, this. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I think that worked. Never mind. But he is still not very helpful. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a pain. Okay, let's leave. Let's leave Mr. Man to his fantasies about his mother and motorcycles. Maybe Joey would like to do some welding. What do you know about art, Joey? Do you include welding under that topic? Sure. Well, I suppose so. If it's creative welding. I can make a few improvements to that sculpture. Yes, yes. Never mind. Okay. Maybe not. Let's check this. This door out. Don't get washed away. Get an anchor policy. That shot doesn't look very optimistic. It shows the state of business. And it doesn't look good. Yeah. Don't be a something. Just use... Okay. Can't read it. Hmm. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. I think that anchor would be a perfect match with my cable. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Hey! Get your robot away from my statue! Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? <laughs> Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. <laughs> hmm. I suppose it's possible. I suppose it's possible. Better safe than sorry, yeah? This is bullshit, Foster. <laughs> Don't listen to that moron. <laughs> Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? 
Tell me more about this policy. Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? I will consider it, sir. I will consider hacking your computer. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? I could if I wanted to. I'm asking you to do it. Correction, you're ordering me to do it. Don't be pedantic. Just do it. Oh, what am Joey. I searching for? Anything on Overman for a start. This directory is a hopeless mess. I'm going to reorganize his hard drive. That's better. There's nothing on Overman, though. Hmm. Never mind. Let's talk to the man again. Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? <laughs> well, presumably he's male. Uh... At last we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. Oh, that's funny. I can't find anything. The computer's gone down on me, huh? <laughs> Computers, huh? Well, I won't be able to help you after all. Hmm. Maybe he has a cl client called Reich. Do you have a client called Reich? Can't you get the information from Link? I guess I could, but I mean... I prefer dealing with people. Let's get this straight. You'd rather talk to me than use a terminal? <laughs> yes. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, no. We're going to get along fine, yeah? <laughs> well, I'd like to help you, yeah. Uh... But the computer's gone ape. Can you help me get to ground level? Ah! What you need is travel insurance, yeah? Just to use an elevator? Hey, man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, mm. injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence. That sounds reasonable. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Yeah. Maybe a shrink could help ya. Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, ya? Yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, ya? Yeah? Never mind. Hmm, I Never think... mind. Wait. Didn't Joy say that the other guy had an obsession with motorcycles? Okay. Yeah, we'll... I will see whether this proves to be useful in the next episode. So... Until then, folks, until then.